the designers are given six weeks to come up with their point of view on this challenge. The designers are really asked to do what they're best at, design. Once I selected breakfast at Tiffany's and doing the trench, one goal is to try to make this be like a trench dress with the idea that she doesn't have to wear anything underneath it. So this is like the initial drawings. We wanted to include EF color VVS diamonds. We always like thought, had the idea to have a sunglass holder. So we made the sunglass holder out of real pearls. I would think Michelle Obama would actually wear these. We would actually love to give these to Michelle Obama. And Barack Obama would wear, I don't know, um, maybe these. If he's gonna come to the office, we're gonna hook him up, so. I thought that I would go with shape that felt modern, and I would go with texture that felt polished, but also a little bit tribal. You know, just from an artistic standpoint, I wanted to do something that felt strong and architectural. The feedback that I got from Meredith, from Anna, uh, was to remove the sides, which in the end I think was absolutely the right decision. Julieta has this 1960s influence, so obviously that was my um, natural choice. So we took some of the iconic jewelry from Tiffany and developed this print. Design is a pretty basic formal shirt with French cuffs. The buttons are based off of a vintage Tiffany button. I was challenged to do something. It pushed me into a direction that I hadn't maybe been thinking about, but now this type of uh, material is gonna be the base of my fall 2013 collection. There is a lot of leisure time, a little bit in the 20s, you had this idea of people as couples going out and looking amazing. So we did work definitely on a his and hers uh, right from the start. And we were working on doing like a his and hers pocket watch. So this one in particular we did with two faces for the two individuals so they can uh, keep track of each other if they're in different time zones or different places. This is our finished shoe um, that we're very, very proud of. It is made out of galusha, satin and crystals. We took the inspiration of the sort of headband that Carrie Mulligan was wearing in The Great Gatsby and then sort of infiltrated it into one of our iconic shoes called the Bailey. Feedback from Vogue was, was great. They said, Anna wants to know, are you really gonna make all these pieces? You've got one shot, you know, <laughs> why not? The only note that Anna has is that she'd like the earrings big. Do you think they're big enough? Okay, good. <laughs> Good, yeah. Hi. They brought the fabric. They chose an amazing red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like? I think we ended up with something that we're really proud of. That's representative of the brand. It's very feminine, but it's also representative of the project. And then what's also cool is we ended up collaborating with Alberta Swanpool on a little hat. Tonight is the first opportunity that I'm going to get to see all the designs and uh, what the designers present. We're here with New Look today. It's a beautiful day. It's just perfect. <laughs> if you can't tell, the inspiration was The Great Gatsby. They're really going to show everybody what they came up with. But each designer will be bringing a muse, uh, someone that has inspired them and is going to wear their creations uh, for the challenge there is a whole presentation that they have to give. We did some modern interpretations of suits and linen, um, her dresses and like a modern charmeuse with a digital print. I got it. The shirt is also a pashmina. Oh my god, you must be so hot. I'm, I'm fine. He's cool though. But it's nice. Russian gas <laughs> Russian gas I hope it's a piece that she would actually wear in a way she'd wear. So. Can I run off for this cemetery? <laughs> These glasses will retail for $10,000. $10,000, that's a lot. They're really going to show everybody what they came up with. 
and see if they meet the challenges. So how much would they sell for, Tabitha? Probably 1,800. Well, cheaper than sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> and you get two. <laughs> It's going to be a, a really hard decision. We have a lot of work ahead of us as judges. They all work hard. Yeah, it was a very good challenge this year. Sometimes they've been a bit challenging. <laughs> a challenging challenge. This one's good.